What's going on guys, it's Sam, and today I'm gonna to show you how to design graphics for your videos. Let's get started. Hey guys, so this video is a clip from a full tutorial within the free Spotlight mini course on how to create and design video content for your brand. Go to paradits.com slash create video or click the link in the description to check out the course outline. Okay, so that was how to make some motion graphics quickly, um, but now we're going to create our own from scratch. And I'm gonna show you how to do that inside of Photoshop. Okay, so now within Photoshop, um, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new project. Um, it doesn't matter what comes up. Um, by default, mine has an artboard with a um, background color of transparent. Um, so we're just looking at this right now, but what we wanna do is create a box. So I want to create a box that says subscribe in it, um, just to encourage people to subscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and create a box, just click and drag out, um, I'll go ahead and zoom in here. Um, I'm going to make it uh, a gray, because that's more on brand for me. Um, and then inside of that gray, I kind of want to create like an inner glow, um, just to make it m look more professional. So. When I right click on rectangle and go to blending options, it'll bring up this. And so I can see there's a whole bunch of things here. And I'm gonna click on inner glow. So when I click inner glow, by default it's black, but I'm gonna change this color and make it white. So when I make it white, you still can't really see it, um, but when I change the opacity, uh, you can see that it's kind of glowing here. Uh, when you first put yours on, it might have a different setting. I think it's saved from when I was messing with this glow before. So it saved all my settings and it looks like this right now, um, which is actually what I'm aiming for. Um, so I have choke at zero, um, and then I have the size here, just like that, um, and then the range. So you can kind of see all these settings, you know, change it in different ways. But right now, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and make the opacity a little lower because I just want a little glow effect in there. So, so I'm just making it glow just a little bit on the inside. I'm going to hit OK. Um, and now I'm going to hit T to create a type layer. And I'm going to type subscribe in all caps. I'm going to hold Control and drag this over here. Um, select all of the text. Let's make it white. So I made it white. And then I'm going to, I'm still in the type mode, but I want to go in the move mode. So I'm going to hit this move Control over here and I'm going to snap it to like the center of the box, kind of eyeball it. Generally, it's nice and it doesn't for you. Right now, it's kind of um, acting funny, but it's close enough. Um, then I'm gonna resize it um, by holding Alt and clicking and dragging so that it resizes to the center. And let's do it like right there. And then I also wanna add like the YouTube subscribe button. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that button from Google Images real quick. Okay, so I got the logo. I'm gonna make it smaller here. Drag it down, let's make it like the same size as the S. I'm holding Alt and clicking and dragging in. So I'm just gonna do that. Put it right next to subscribe. Hold Shift, click them together, and kind of center them in the box. Okay, so I've got my box here. Now I'm just going to make my artboard uh, the same size as the box. So it snaps when I drag the size of it down, it just snaps right to the edges. So now, here's the box, and I'm going to right click, export as, um, and since I want it to just be a simple image and I want it to be a small image, I don't want to save it as PNG, because that keeps the transparency within the file, and that makes the file bigger when I'm not using transparency. So I'll just do JPEG, keep the file size small, then I'll export all and save it. So after saving it, I can just take that exported file and throw it into Premiere and start messing with it that way. But I also want to be able to edit the design while I'm in Premiere working with it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the Photoshop file into Premiere so that while if we edit anything inside of Photoshop, it automatically updates in Premiere. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I open up Premiere, I'm going to go ahead and go to my project, then I'm going to import the saved Photoshop document. So while importing the Photoshop document, it asks me if I want to import the layers, I'm just going to hit OK. Um, and it gives me the PSD, the Photoshop document, right inside of Premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that on top of my video. And there we go, I got my button. So I can make it bigger, so I'm just gonna make it that big. And then it's kind of cool, because if I go into Photoshop, 
and I changed the font of subscribe. Let's make it black italic. I'll hit save, then it'll update uh, right inside of Premiere, see? So now it's italic, so it's kind of cool. So if you have a Photoshop document inside of Premiere and you just save it as you're working on it, it'll update within Premiere, which is pretty great as well. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this button where I want it to show up during my video. So if I'm telling people to subscribe, the subscribe button is usually on the bottom right. So um, I will just throw it in right there. Now that we have our subscribe button in our video, uh, we want it to animate, because otherwise it's just stale and sitting there. So we're gonna go ahead and animate this button. Um, I hope you guys learned something today as I had a lot of fun teaching it. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe uh, for more videos just like this one. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, um, I'll definitely get back to you. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you in the next one. Hey guys, to learn more about how to create and design video content for your brand, check out the free Spotlight mini course right now by going to paradits.com slash create video. Or you can check out the link in the description down below.